friends welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before I'm Erin and for today's video we are going to be doing a quick beauty product haul so about a month ago I want to say I ordered some beauty products from online from Target and because of the hurricane and everything else I am just now getting to film about them probably should have put more makeup on for the makeup video but you know what I'm no beauty guru, so what you see is what you get. There are about seven different products that I got that I wanted to show you. Most of them are ELF, so if you like that brand, you'll probably like this video. I like ELF just because it is not very expensive and their product actually tends to be pretty good, so that's how that rolls. But the first thing that we're gonna start out with is foundation. Now. This is my typical go-to foundation that I get, which is really nothing fancy. There are definitely some other foundations that I wanna try out. Um, Jeffree started a video about the NYX or NYX foundation that just came out, and I definitely wanna give that a try too, but I had already bought this. But anyway, it's just plain old CoverGirl plus Olay, simply ageless, and it is in the color 220, which is creamy natural. This is what the packaging looks like. Now I don't have any of my brushes or anything in here, but I can see this redness here, which if you watch my other video for Universal Yums, you'll see it there too. But I'll just go ahead and put a little bit on with my finger so you can see what it looks like. It comes out pretty liquidy. Um, now in the past it definitely was thicker than this, but can't complain. So I get to be a true beauty guru and use my viewfinder put on some makeup. Well, I probably just made my face more red because I'm using my fingers to put this on instead of a beauty blender or my brushes. But it does tend to take the redness out of my face. So definitely not as red as I was and now I have foundation all over my fingers. I definitely noticed that they've added some kind of scent to this because it definitely smells floral-y to me. Anyway, moving on. We'll go to the ELF. Eyes and lips face products that I got. So the first thing I got was Daily Brush Cleaner. That's the box that came in. It is 2.02 fluid ounces and it gives directions on the back. And this is basically a brush cleaner that you can use every day. I'm a bad wannabe beauty guru and I've never had a brush cleaner for my brushes. I've just used soap and water. Not good. So, yeah, decided to up my game and get myself some brush cleaner. So we'll see how that works. I'm sure it'll be better than the soap and water I've been using to clean my brushes. So up next, when I did my Miss A haul, which I will link down below if you wanna check it out. Um, they have cheap beauty products on there too and I did a haul from there which I think I'm probably gonna buy some more stuff from there eventually, so stay tuned for that once I get some money to be able to buy some stuff from there. But anyway, from my Miss A haul, I was not able to get a primer, so I got this ELF Hydrating Face Primer. This, this is what the bottle looks like, and this is 0.47 fluid ounces. So not a huge bottle, but enough to get the job done. This is what it looks like. Very lotiony. So you can barely see it, but there's where it is. And it goes in very sheer. Doesn't really smell like anything, so that's good. It definitely feels soft. So I think that's going to be a good product to use. I'll let you know once I actually use it like on my face when I decide to do real makeup. Okay, so the next thing that I got, 
I got because way back in one of my Dollar Tree hauls, they had this in like a, it was kind of like a two-sided thing. It was concealer and highlighter together and it was ELF. And this is the HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. And it is 0.22 ounces. This is what the bottle looks like. And I really liked the concealer that was in the other one, so I figured this one would be good too. I'm just gonna put some on my hand here. So that's what it looks like on my hand, and we'll just blend it in. Again, like I said, I am no beauty guru, so bear with me. Okay, so up next is two lipsticks. First we have a liquid matte lipstick from ELF and a new color which is Berry Sorbet. I thought this put, this color was so pretty. It's definitely bold for me but I wanted to give it a shot. Here's what it looks like in the container. It's a really pretty color. So I will swatch it for you. Definitely get a lot in one shot when it comes out. See if I can get it to dry down a little. So first thing off the bat, it's not a very quick drying matte lipstick. Okay, so there's definitely some streaks that are still wet, but I did want to show you what the swatch looks like. You can see in the middle where it's still kind of wet, but the rest is very matte. That's a really pretty color. I like it a lot. And I'll check back and do like a smudge test once it's all the way dried down. So the next thing that I got is a lip plumping gloss in sparkling rosé. And I thought this was a really pretty color as well. This is what it looks like. This is the first lip plumping gloss I've ever gotten. But as you can see from my lips, I need all the help I can get. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this on my hand as well rather than try to put it on in my viewfinder and look like a fool. So, we'll swatch it right next to the other matte one. Anyway, here's what the swatch looks like next to that matte one. It's a really pretty gloss. I think it actually will look kind of nice over this one and I'm gonna try that out. Um, I did notice with the matte, I don't think it's completely dry yet, but we'll give it a smudge test. Pretty good, it doesn't go anywhere. I know that the gloss won't be the same, but I mean, that's pretty decent. Well, I mean, I guess a little bit did come off, but I mean, I guess it's not as bad as it could be. Anyway, let's move on to the eyeshadow palette I got. So these are more summery colors, but I liked it and I feel like you can definitely do some fall looks with this. So this is the Maybelline New York Lemonade Craze palette and you get 12 different shades that are close up of that. Here's what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and swatch some of these. So I wanted to check out this really pretty pink one that says Ice Pop, the Lemonade Craze, and the Sugar Coated. And we can try Strawberry Lemonade too. So first we'll do Ice Pop. And we'll put that next to this. So it looks like I didn't put a lot on my finger, but it looks like it's going to be a decent color. It looks pretty. Put a little bit more. So that's what that looks like. Let's try this yellow one that's called Lemonade Craze. There's the yellow. Put that next to here. So it's definitely, they're pretty pigmented, I think. Definitely a little bit of fallout from the lemonade craze. It looks a little bit cakey. I don't know that you can really see it on my pale, pale hand. All right, so then I'm gonna do two of the metallic ones. The first one I'll do is strawberry lemonade. And this is a shimmery one. 
Ooh, I really like that. That's really pretty. It's a really pretty shimmery one. And for the next one, we will do Sugar Coated, which is like a bronzy color. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. See the shimmer, super pigmented. And we'll swap to one more just for ha ha's. Let's do old fashioned, which is like a brownie color. Yeah, swatching queen here. Anyway, that one's super pigmented too. I figured you can make some good fall looks with like those shimmery ones and the darker browner colors. So it's not just a summer palette, I suppose. Super pleased with that, can't wait to use it. And on the back of this, it gives you three different looks that you can use and it tells you how to do it, like which colors to put where. So I might try that out because they're a little bit fancier and you're using four different colors. I'll give it a go and then maybe I'll make a video about it, but I'm still extremely new to makeup, like trying things out. So we'll see how it goes. But that's it for the haul. That's everything that I had for it. I really wanna buy more quality makeup, meaning spend more money on makeup. So I was thinking about buying like a couple Jeffree Star palettes and seeing how they work I mean I know they're good I've seen videos on them before but I would like to try them out myself just to have some decent quality makeup not that I don't I do have some stuff from like Mac and NARS but I don't have like a full nice palette from them it's more like individual or double things so and I really haven't really played too much for them either to be honest this is something that I'm just getting into obviously for my next video I should probably put on some makeup instead of just watching but that's just me just how I roll spur of the minute thing to decide to film this right now but that's it for this video guys if you liked it go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys next time bye